First of all, head over to the link in the description and you will find this download. Alternatively, you can find the same link over on the Armored Core Discourse 5th gen channel by looking at the pinned messages. The download is decently big, so try not to tab out of your browser to ensure that it will not randomly crash. When the download is finished, it will give you this zip file. Extract it with your extraction tool of choice to get this folder. If you open it, you will see a bunch of files, but you can ignore most of them for now. Locate and execute the rpcs3.exe inside the folder. The emulator will ask you to update, but unless it is extremely necessary, you should always deny it. The game itself is already pre-installed in the pack, so you do not have to worry about that. Now you will want to click the Pads tab and set up your controller. By default, the pack uses a DualSense controller, but you can use any other device you want by selecting the appropriate handler. After your controller is sorted out, head over to the Configuration tab and set up your ArtPCN account. If you don't know or understand how to do it, you can check out a very easy to understand guide on their official website. This is a necessary step in order to play online. Once you're done with that, we can finally boot up the game. Right click on Verdict Day and select Boot with Custom Configuration. This boot up process will take longer than usual on your first time putting the game up. So let it sit for a bit. If you did everything right, you will see successfully logged on RPCN in the top left corner. During the boot up process, you will eventually reach this message. You can safely ignore it. This second warning message can be ignored as well. If you're new to the game, you might want to head over to the Extra menu. Here you will find a digital in-game manual that goes over all of the basics you need to know about the game. Now head over to Player Data, then Player Data once more. Here you can change your pilot name. You can use your own keyboard to input the text. The next step is to head over to the workshop menu at the top. Here you will find the settings menu, where you can customize aspects of the game such as the volume mixing, a variety of control automation settings, your heads up display, and your control scheme. Now your basic setup is done. If you head over to the AC data menu, you will find a lot of pre-built ACs. In user 1, you will find safer mass production designs. And in user 2, you will find a variety of custom ACs submitted by the active members of the PvP community. If you want to select one, simply hover over the desired AC and load it. As a last stop for new players, you can find a very basic tutorial in the AC test menu.
If you'd like to start fresh from the beginning, you can go to the Manage tab, then select Save Data, and delete the save data that comes pre-installed with the emulator. To play online, head over to the free battle menu. Then choose between ranked or player match, and here you can create a room. To join an already made room, instead you can use the custom match option to search for it, and then select it from the list. Alternatively, you can use the quick join option to instantly join an available room. To utilize the custom maps, all you need to do is head over to Dev HDD0, Game, navigate to the serial number of Armored Core Product Day, QSRDIR, Bind, then maps, and here you will find the instructions. All you need to do is select the map pack that you want, open its folder, select the patch.bnd file, copy it, and then use it to replace the one in the bind folder. And there you go. Huge thanks to Extra Crispy for figuring out how to solve the regulation crisis we had earlier today and all of the other modders over on the Armored Core Discord who keep saving Product Day time and time again. This concludes the setup guide. Any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll eventually get to them. Now goodbye, Godspeed, and play some fucking Product Day.